Today on Bob and Bob, we're going to be making a quick disconnect wiring harness for the Ultra Tour Pack to come on and off easily. <laughs> Well, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Boba Bob, and today we have a new project that hopefully won't take me too long, but we'll see. So behind me, you can see the new project in the garage is a 2009 Harley-Davidson Ultra Classic electric light. It's Junior Bob's one. I've still got my Trumpy and I've still got my electric light, but today we're gonna to be looking at what it takes to shorten the wire harness going to the tool pack so that when we fit the quick detach to that tour pack we can also unplug the wiring um, pretty easily problem is it's sort of hardwired at the moment there's no real easy way to do it and harley davidson doesn't seem like they um, sell a quick disconnect set or a a better method of getting the tour pack on and off with some uh, plugs so we're going to get into that let's have a look around the bike first so obviously it's in a bit of a state of disassembly at the moment but this is a 2009 Harley-Davidson Ultra Classic Electric Glide. It's the year before they went to what was called now, what they, they have called the Limited model. But this um, still has a good number of features on it um, over any sort of standard regular Harley-Davidson. And it's also the first year of the frame change 2009 over my bike, which is the 2007, which you can see there barely. And it's got some uh, different handling and comfort improvements over my version. Let's just have a quick look around at what we're doing today. So we've got the tool pack fitted on the back. But as you can see, the wires that all come out of this, from the speakers, from the aerial, from another aerial, and from the other side of the speakers, and also this um, harness here for the, the passenger, um, all of these go through to essentially the front of the bike without any plugs without any way to easily remedy when you fit the um, quick detachable tour pack set for it to be easily um a plug there's plugs in the speakers there's one here one here and then like leads that go all the way through but there's nothing really easily um done about that it seems like harley don't sell that accessory so we are going to be doing it ourselves. I've put some tape on where I am envisaging the cuts are going to be made through the wires. And that one there, this one will go here. This one will sit in there and we'll leave the aerial ones as they are and we'll just, um, we'll, we'll just coil them up. Now let's go to the bench and I'll show you what um, we're going to do about this. So a new job means new parts and this are co uh, these are called Deutsch connectors and uh, this is the stuff I had to buy um, a little bit of shrink wrap but in like a kit which is cool because I need to solder something always need some extra tape and these are crimping pliers for the Deutsch connectors which are these little pins hopefully we can see those if they're going to be focused no I'll leave them over there and then we can keep them in focus. But we've got the female end and the male end and they're watertight and dust and dirt tight. So I've got a six pin on here. I've got some two and four pins and lots of other six pin ones. And the idea is that we're going to cut and splice the wires into these pins and have these blocks that are going to be the way in which we will quickly disconnect the tour pack from the bike easily each time and reducing our time frame in doing that. It's time to make some cuts. So let's go and do that. All right, I got my side cutters and my garage slippers on, of course. And I estimate that this one, which has got um, two units of six wires in I believe um, will be good to have around here which will put this, the the um, Deutsch connector in this little space this connector I think will sit just nicely on that side and this one will sit in there so there is nothing left to do but to trim it 
And so what I think I might do is try and get some of this edging away first. And then if I can just cut around this um, outer edge, I'll then be able to move this part up. Right, so that's the sheath moved. This particular one has uh, an aerial plug which goes into the fairing and splits off into three wires. And then you've got these six wires that go to the speakers. So there is nothing left to do but to cut it. So the battery's all disconnected. Uh, I'm not gonna cut that one, but I'm gonna cut these six. Here goes. And either I've done a great thing or I've just ruined the bike, but I think we'll be good. <laughs> this one similar, just gonna cut these six here. And we'll leave that aerial on. There's nothing much we can do about that. The last one is here. And I think I'll just, um, no, I'm just second guessing myself. So I thought I had to not cut this one, but because it's got these wires in it, these, these three, black, black and white, I can actually cut it. I can cut this. So I'll chop that um, and make sure I get around the right way, the um, all the wires, of course. But then that can become part of another plug. So I think it might be a double plug for this area here. So I've undone the cable that is for the um, radio. And because I didn't want to cut that one, I um, had to undo it from its covering, which is what I want to put these three power wires back into, which power the uh, the light on top of the trunk here. You can see that. And that needs to be soldered back to this end, which I cut. Uh, not on accident, I actually did mean to cut that before. Um, but this this end of the cable travels all the way up through here. I even put a little bit of a lead wire through, but it's only short. Through this cable um, sheathing, and then back through to the back of the radio and the um, the front here. So it's a bit of a a bit of a mish for that one, but um, that will look better um, run as a separate cable, and it'll tidy out those other wires. So that should be good. Okay, what I've got here are my wire strippers, some side cutters, and this new tool, which is the crimper for the Deutsch connector. Now I want to make this end the female end for the connector, which is going to be this one here with the little tube style ends. So I'm just going to move this out the way. I'll move that forward a bit. And we're going to move the tape out the way. Right. We're going to just trim these so that they're even. This is for the speaker cluster. Pretty close. And now we're going to trim the wire and we only want not much, two or three millimeters. Right, trim the wires up. Um, they should be good for length with each other. I've measured the wire, it's about 1.24 millimeters, which should equal about 16 gauge, which is the issue I've got with this. It's got on there 16, 18 and 20. And I was watching how to, to do this. So that I really have to try it just by doing the first one. So I'm gonna go for the 18. There we go. That's looking like it's starting. Um, I'm gonna put the wire in.
Well, I think we might have a winner. All right, let's try another one. I had some fun here. I got the pins on. I've managed to work out the best way to do it by slightly crimping the end shut before putting it into the tool and then you click it once. Uh, <laughs> I did put the wrong pin on the end of the purple one and had to take it off, so I'm down one pin, but that's okay. So I think the next thing to do is to take these wires and begin to push them into the block, which I understand you just put them through the rubber end until they click into place. Oh, I heard it. That's great. All right, let's do them all. Let's just see. Now this one, as you can see, it didn't quite clamp on very nicely. I could probably just remove it and put another end on, which I think I might do actually, because it's not very clamped. Although when I try and pull it off, it's very clamped. The uh, pins have been crimped and terminated into the next little block of six. This was for the communicator on the pillion, so it's like a um, coax wrap around those two wires, and so I've twisted it off into this, and I've just put some clear shrink over the tops, which I'm just going to shrink. Beautiful. The plugs are all fitted, the bike is back together in regards to electrical connectors front and back. So that's the aerial connector the, that I've actually made length go further back to route it through this hole. So it's just that's the only thing going through that hole. So what we've got is, um, I've numbered them one and two, I mean they're pretty obviously marked but here we have, um, that's number three. Four, that's the rear light goes through a fixed grommet there with a couple of cable ties to stop it going back through that'll just sit in there nicely in fact that doesn't need to um, go anywhere else I'll put a bit of protector on there that can go there that's good this side left side we've got um, this, these two plugs here. Um, so one is for the left side speaker, one is for the passenger communicator, which this needs fastening up. And it's just got the two plugs on the end. One and two, straightforward. Plug it in. They will sit on top of the battery tray. I've looked at the um, clearance underneath the seat. There is plenty. 
that's for the rear guard that's for the fuel pump or the fuel tank setup and then we've got the other side we've got the right hand speaker and so you would just put that in there like that nice little satisfying click I won't turn it on because of any copyright with music <laughs> that comes out the speakers but um, I have given it a try and it all works as it should do so now I'm going to take it off because I don't want to have the tour pack on so it should be as easy as once you've uh, got it all back together unplugging this one unplugging number two unplugging number four and number three not sure what happened with my numbers but it doesn't really matter and they don't have to go anywhere they can just hang out the side like this probably you would have had a cable tie or a temporary tie the only thing that needs to be done is the aerial which i think will get the fairing mounted antenna set then it can just be um hidden out the front and then it really is a, a question of three plugs which would be great and i've got the grommet for that somewhere that will just here it is that's the grommet that the only thing you'll have to do is have the aerial pass through that grommet uh, that grommet can stay in uh, the only thing is that'll have to be coiled up and just tucked in but that's okay so those connectors are all released like that you don't do all your bolts i've got most of them undone and obviously a um a bolt would go in through there which helps ground out the aerial and of course when the quick release mechanism all comes you won't have to do any of this because it'll all be sorted so all we'll need to do is get the aerial the antenna put into the fairing probably should have got that done well we don't have one so obviously this won't need to be done and then it just comes off so that'll just come out the front like that and that's it a nice neat job the only thing I'm thinking is that I don't have a little boot for this although I think with the seat and everything else around it it should be fairly tidy um, I'll get it all back together I'm going to take that rack off and I'm going to fit it all back together all right we're going to close things out I've got the bike back together put a shorter screen on just for uh, junior to try um, over the 10 inch standard screen um, looking pretty tidy at the back obviously we haven't got the docking hardware yet that's yet to be got yet to be purchased but it does clean up nicely it does look quite nice it does look nice and tidy there's no sort of wires hanging out there's no big bunches of wires under the seat and this is the tour pack this is what we've now got we've got these four plugs all nice and neat on and off in the jiffy no worries well thanks for joining me today i hope this has been a helpful video for you and if you'd like to see more content like this flick a like and maybe a subscribe and then you'll be updated as soon as anything new comes out so thanks for joining me this is bobba bob see you later <laughs>